This video is about this, an Intel NUC PC with an i7 processor. First of all, I'm gonna go over the features of this NUC PC. So the one I bought was the bare bones kit. So bare bones just means that you get the CPU and you get the case and well, the power supply is inbuilt so you don't have to worry about that anyway. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need an SSD or a hard disk. You will also need some RAM. Finally, you're gonna need an operating system like Windows or Linux. <laughs> I'm only joking, I love Linux. So what are the features of this NUC PC that I went and bought? First of all, it's got an i7 processor, so you get multi-threading technology. I fitted mine with two eight gigabyte Corsair Vengeance modules, totaling to 16 gigabytes of RAM. I also fitted mine with a Western Digital Blue SSD M.2. What else does it have that's quite interesting? It has Thunderbolt 3, it has USB-C and it has three USB-A ports which are version 3.1. It has an Ethernet port, it has HDMI 2.0 and it also has an SD card reader. Yes. Wireless connectivity features, it has Bluetooth version 5. Wi-Fi, it has the newest Wi-Fi 6 standard. So that's a bit of future proofing right there. Now, what do I use it for? I use it for a home theater PC, also known as an HTPC. I think it's small enough, so it tucks away nicely in your AV cabinet. You can connect it to your media server, so you can stream movies. It has decent performance with 4K HDR material, and it works perfectly with surround sound. Just make sure everything is all up to date on your computer, like your drivers and everything like that. Other things you could use it for, you could use it as a portable PC. You could also use it as a casual gaming device if you wanna stream games, for example, Google Stadia. How does my one perform in the real world? Well, I would say it performs very well. It's not very stuttery, it feels smooth, it's fast enough for everything I need it for, it being a home theater PC. Just a little tip, Remember to turn off the Windows animations because if you don't do that, it can feel a little bit jerky in 4K. How does my one perform in the benchmarks? Here are some benchmarks for you to look at. Everything except for the graphics performance is pretty solid, I would say. But for some reason, I've noticed the M2 SSD is a little bit on the slow side when compared to other models. I'll have to look into that. It could be a driver related issue or it could also be a limitation of the Intel NUC motherboard. Do I like it? I do like it, yeah. I think it's a little bit pricey but it's got everything you need in it. If you ever wanted to game on this unit, you could always connect up an eGPU via Thunderbolt 3, which I think is really good. Everybody put your hands in the air. They also seem to sell very well on eBay if you ever wanted to sell it on an upgrade, for example. Another really good thing is that Intel have supported these NUC PCs for a very long time and I think it's good to have the support of a big manufacturer. The only issue I've had with it is that it takes a little bit long to boot into Windows, sometimes it can take about a minute and it seems to be getting stuck at the BIOS screen so I'll need to look into that and see if there's a setting I need to change to enable quick boot or something like that. Would I recommend it to you? Well, it's fast enough, it's small enough, it's quiet enough and I think it's cool enough. Overall, I think it's a great little unit. I'd definitely consider another one if I had a need for it. Any updates, I'll put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. Did you like it? If you did, then please give us a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I'll see you next time.